good morning friends good morning i have a little frog in my throat this morning interesting what we come through um yeah it's the uh uh the spur of tunkasila that wishes to step forward and speak to us um from her um spirit share her spirit wisdom um yeah so my offer and invitation is um, close your eyes, just be in a quiet space and allow her words to really uh, be eaten, be drunk into every cell, into all of your being. What she wishes to, to bring forward and speak of, uh, allow it to be received. And I'll just drop my bandana and enter that space with her. There is a place that you know of. A place that you know so well, yet you long for. A place through all the ages, all the eons, all the timelines, timelines and time frames. That you have known, that you always know. It is this place where you meet us. It is this place where you meet yourself. It is this place where you meet all things and there you will meet equality. There you will see yourself and all things as equal. This place is within you. This place is always within you when you come into form as this place connects you to home. It reminds you of home and in home where we all come from. It is all our home, and each of us have this embedded into us. We wish for you to return home. We wish for you to return to yourself. This is what has already been shared to Isla of returning to ceremony. This is not about finding those places and opportunities to be in ceremony, although they are important in themselves. This is about returning to yourself and in returning to yourself being a ceremony. As this is what you are and as you return to ceremony and see yourself as ceremony there you will see all as equal there you will see us as also ceremony you will ask what ceremony do we bring to you what do we bring to you to bring you back to ceremony. What ceremony do we bring to you so that you can be in ceremony too? What ceremony do we bring to you so that you can activate your ceremony once again and 
no know who you are and in knowing who you are you will know who we are and you will know of this life that you are having this life that you are in begin to know of this space within you begin to seek this space within you begin to explore this ceremony that you are and are in and are having you come from greatness you come from a great mystery a great knowing as do all all of life comes from a great knowing and this space within you allows you to have access to it. When you access this space, it is there that you will meet us as equals. It is there that you will meet us. And we will converse and we will play and we will speak and we will be in ceremony. We are way beyond our physical body. We are way beyond what our physical body allows us to be, what our physical body is to you of what you see. You are also way beyond your physical body. But for your physical body to know, for your physical body to experience, for your physical body to be in ceremony requires this great knowing. And this great knowing is from this space within you, this place within you. It is calling you as it has always called you. It is calling you just as a mother calls her child home, just as a mother calls her child to be nurtured. This place within you is calling you as it has always been. And we come to visit you. We arrive at your door. to invite you to return to ceremony, to invite you to step into the great expansion of play. We invite you to go within yourself and going within yourself to come out and play and be in this expansiveness. The ceremony will show you how unlimited play is, how it 
goes out infinitely. We see that there has been a sense of play lost. We see that you have forgotten how to play. Where excuses may be told, where you tell yourself excuses to avoid this play, to deny yourself of play. Yet being in the play is another key that activates this place within you, that activates being ceremony. We come knocking on your door, we come to visit you, to invite you to come out and play and to know yourself as ceremony. We will walk with you for as long as is needed for what we are able to do. And when we are not needed in that way or where we are needed but in greater ways beyond the physical body, then we will hear the call of the great mother, the great father, and we will return to them. But as you return to ceremony, you will understand, you will continue to be in ceremony with us. When we are out of a body, that does not mean that we do not exist. When we are out of body, we exist in greater ways, for we are everywhere and can be in everything. And there are circumstances where it is better for us to be with you once we have visited to be out of our body. There are circumstances that are not to be known where your ceremony will be enhanced your ceremony will be felt when we are out of body. But it requires you to go to it, to go to yourself, to find this place within you. And Begin practicing ceremony again. Begin being ceremony again. You come from greatness. You come from a great mystery. You come yourself as and from ceremony. And this is what is needed. This is what you require. And this is what this world requires. That you came to be ceremony and bring ceremony.
that you are ceremony. Just as we are ceremony. There are many things to navigate in this life, in this world. There are many things to navigate, to know of, to speak of, to experience, to learn. And whilst all these things are being had, the underlying need, the underlying knowing, the underlying focus is to make all these things as a ceremony. It is always about ceremony. And when you are not in ceremony, which cannot be helped if you are not, that is what it is for now. When you are not in ceremony, you do not see who we are. You do not see life in this way. You do not see how all things are ceremony and how all things come to visit you, come to speak to you. But all things are ceremony, including ourselves. And we are there, we are in this place. We are in this place of ceremony and we visit you to invite you to ask you to remember to return to ceremony yourself. We have not forgotten these ways. It is the way that you see us when we commune with the stone beings, when we commune with the plant people, when we commune with the star beings, when we commune with the land, for we recognize it, we recognize all. The one ceremony that is missing is yours. And we are all here for you to see. We all come to visit you, to invite you to come out and play. And in coming out to play, to stand within as ceremony, to stand to ceremony. You have two beautiful feet that make you stand tall, two beautiful feet that make you stand taller than many, than most. Your own physical body comes in a way to remind you to stand in ceremony as you are. Standing in ceremony allows you to be in ceremony and allows you to access this place. As you access this place, you will have access to all of us and be in ceremony with us. This is not about 
dictation. This is not about telling another what to do or what to be. This is not about control. Controlling our lives, controlling your own life. This is about seeing. Seeing all that is already in ceremony and how this asks you to be ceremony. Seeing all that shows up at your door to invite you to come out and play and be in ceremony. And we can be the closest ones that bring this invitation to you for we come and visit you in your home. We can be the ones that activate this for you, but only you can see this. Only you can see this. And so we ask you to see now. We ask you to see in ceremony and then see our lives together truthfully for what it is, the ceremony that it is. And living together in a way that is led from this place of ceremony within you. Living together in a way that is led from this place. This place of ceremony. This place of harmony. This place of equality. This place where our lives together will be a ceremony as it should. This place where you see, you see the reason you see the invitation we bring when we arrive and as we live together. This place of ceremony will allow you to see this. And this place of ceremony can be built upon it is always being built upon. But that does not mean you cannot begin. Begin being in ceremony and allow this to be built upon in its own way, its own way that it also knows. In that way, there is nothing for you to do but to remind yourself to be in ceremony. And that as you exist, we are all existing in ceremony. And as we exist together, we exist together in ceremony. And all that shows up for you, all that comes to your door, does so as an invitation to be in ceremony, 
to stand in ceremony. We have always wanted this for you. We have always wanted this for you. And we want this for you now. To return to ceremony and return to this way of knowing, these ways of knowing, and in knowing, seeing who you are and seeing who we are. In returning to ceremony and seeing who you are and seeing who we are, there you will enter again the greatness, there you will enter again the great mystery that surrounds you and that is you and that is all things there in different ways having play having a ball as it would be said in your language see us all having a ball see us all having a ball As you return to this place, there you will see and be shown, there you will hear, there you will be in all of the capabilities, all of the realities that you do not know, that you cannot believe is possible but they are possible and there you will see them and there you will see us and the ways that we live together the ways that we speak the way that we will become will be through ceremony again. We will become ceremony again. The ways that we become is that we will come together. We will come together in celebration and ceremony. And as you stand as ceremony yourself, there will no longer be any division. There will no longer be any separation. There will no longer be any talk of what you believe about yourself, what you believe about us, and what you believe about others. There will be ceremony. And in others, you will see yourself. And in others, you will seek guidance. And in others, you will know yourself. So that you return more and more and more to ceremony and stand in it.
So all of the ways that we come to you, all of the ways that we come and visit, we come knocking on your door. We come to invite you to come out and play. To come out and step within this place that you know so well, this place of ceremony. There you will truly meet yourself and you will meet us and you will meet all things. You will exist in the greatness, you will exist in the great mystery and all its possibilities, all its possibilities. We ask this as we have been asking it all along. We ask this for you. We ask this for you as it serves purpose for ourselves and it serves purpose for all things. We ask this for you, for this is who you truly are. We are all here as ceremony. And and the recognition, the approval the volunteering of being part of this, but in a body that then forgets. It is our duty. It is our delight. It is our attempt. Our as in us, the canine people, but our as in us all. All the people, all the nations, all the beings, all that come to your door to invite you to stand as ceremony. Nothing else has forgotten. Nothing else has lost this place of being in ceremony. And see this, see how all things stand in ceremony. And as all things stand in ceremony, we ask you to return to the same. And there you will see, you will see yourself and there you will see all of the invitations and what the invitations come back to. Come back to ceremony, come back to ceremony, come back to ceremony. This is what I speak of. This is what we ask of. Mm. Oh, I trust those words landed. Oh, landed within you as you received. Um, allow them to infuse into your body. Mm. Be with them. Notice them. Feel them. Mm. Thank you so much for listening to uh, oh to the uh, yeah what spirit of Tunkasila. Najal, Najal, uh, Najal, Najai wanted to um, bring forward and share. Yeah, so go well, my friends. Wishing you love and many blessings. Mm. Thank you for dropping in. Until the next time, lots of love, many blessings. <laughs>